Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and Saturn has entered Capricorn, Uttara Shada Nakshatra and it is going to be there for quite some time. So this tells me till 22nd January 2021, Saturn will continue to hover and transit around Uttara Shada Nakshatra, right? So this it, it's like almost the entire year and another one month right so this transit is very important like the transit of jupiter in purva shada also and jupiter and saturn will also combine and be conjunct right that video i'll make some other time but today's video is about saturn saturn and saturn only and Saturn is in his own house in Capricorn. And Uttara Shada, as you know, is ruled by Sun. So therefore, the planetary energies of Sun and Saturn will be very closely interlinked. So Uttara Shada is the nakshatra of final completion, which means uh, you, you take a task and you complete it. It can be any task. It can be physical or emotional or mental in any task so therefore what happens when you complete a task well there is hard work and then there is happiness because you finally achieved your goal and when you achieve your goal what happens you get some name fame recognition so therefore the sun aspect on this nakshatra comes into play and you will also realize that there are certain form decisions that you might have to make regarding the houses which Saturn rules in your chart during this transit till January 22nd next year. Because Uttara Shada is a very beautiful nakshatra, but it is not a very easy nakshatra. Okay, easy means it is not like uh, some other nakshatras which give you things very easily. Now, it doesn't mean that it is a bad nakshatra or it's a harsh nakshatra. I'm not going to those technicalities. But the point is, whenever you want to uh, make a commitment and a decision and stick to it, then you must realize that you might uh, have to disappoint some people in your life. All right. And uh, if you do not disappoint them, then you will end up disappointing yourself. <laughs> So the choice is yours. You want to uh, disappoint yourself or you want to disappoint them, right? And now it does not mean that you will necessarily have to disappoint uh, somebody. But what I'm saying is if your dasha is indicating something like that could happen, okay? And the question is who will be affected by this transit? Everybody, of course, but if you are running uh, the uh, Mahadasha or Antardasha of Saturn or Sun. Why Saturn, Sun? Because these two are the most crucial planets because Capricorn is lauded by Saturn himself who is transiting there. And Sun lords Uttara Shada. Okay, so if you are in Sun Mahadasha or Antardasha or Saturn Mahadasha, Antardasha, then this transit will be crucial for you. Then if you are running in, uh, in Jaimini system, if you are running in Chaladasha, uh, the Chadasha of signs like uh, Capricorn or even if you are running Cancer because Cancer is directly opposite of Capricorn then also this transit is very important for you and also if you are uh, running uh, the Chara Mahadasha or Chara Antardasha of the planets of, of the signs where your Saturn and Sun are placed hmm, in your birth chart so suppose you have a sun in Capricorn, Saturn in uh, Gemini, for example. So, if you are running in your birth chart, okay. So, if you are running uh, Capricorn Dasha or Gemini Dasha, then this transit will also be very important. So, therefore, this transit has uh, crucial clues to many areas of our life, which has to come to final conclusion, and you will see that. When Saturn had entered Scorpio long, long, long time back, <laughs> it's literally two houses, Sagittarius and then Scorpio. And then it entered the Gandanta zone, 2017 again, it was 
2018, 2019, then Sagittarius. Uh, I mean, in 2017, it went back to Scorpio from Sagittarius you know, around that June July time, and then it again entered Mula Nakshatra. You know, then again it went through Sagittarius with this Ketu conjunction. So Saturn has been through lots and lots <laughs> uh, in the last five years, I would say. So what does it mean? Saturn has been through. It is not that Saturn has himself been through. He has he has taken us all along in the ride. Okay. And what do you mean by he? He means the houses which he rules in your chart. Okay, so I have seen uh, so many close relatives and <coughs> friends and even uh, people in the astrology community and so many other astrologers, they have told me the houses which Saturn rules in the chart, depending on the ascendant, they, they have literally gone for a ride from the last five years. <laughs> and it has happened to everybody. I mean, there's no exception. Okay. Huge, massive transformations, then some tough decisions you need to make and you end up making those decisions and then do you stick to it or you don't? That your horoscope will tell. And when Saturn entered Mula Nakshatra, you were forced to make certain decisions, to let go of certain things and then when it came to Purva Shada, you got a chance to build what you decided, right? And Saturn was in Purva Shada for very long. And now it has entered Uttara Shada some time back. And now in Uttara Shada, you will realize that the journey is not that easy as it appeared some time back. So last year, you might have felt that, oh, okay, Saturn is going to give me these results, which I want. Well, he will give you, but you know, you've got to work hard. Mm -hmm. Because... Uttara Shada is not the nakshatra of completion, it's the nakshatra of final completion. Uttara Shada means that aspect of your life is totally complete and there is no ambiguity. It's like it's over, it's completed, you are done with that. Yes, that is what Uttara Shada, that's the nakshatra for ultimate victory. But people don't realize it is also the nakshatra for ultimate defeat. <laughs> Because when you are victorious, somebody else may fail, somebody else may fall, right? So now you will be victorious or you will fail. That will depend on your horoscope and what the shaz you are running. But the aspect of humility should not be forgotten. And during this, we can always pray to the uh, Vishwa Devatas, okay, because they are very closely related to this Uttara Shada Nakshatra. In fact, they they are very crucial. So therefore, uh, you could always read the Bhagavad Gita, where uh, Krishna had shown the universal form, the Virat Roop, to to Arjuna, none other than Arjuna himself. And Arjuna was looking at this form of Krishna, and he was just was seeing Bhishma, Drona, Duryodhan, Shakuni, Karna, everybody was just, uh, they were just flying into Krishna's mouth. So Krishna says in the Gita, Kalosmi, so in the form of time, Arjuna could see that you know, Krishna was killing, not, I mean not killing exactly, he was literally eating the, the Kaurva, you know. <laughs> so therefore, uh, reading the Bhagavad Gita is very essential and now, the Bhagavad Gita is very important because uh, for this transit because it is in the setting of a war. And uh, if you see Arjuna, he is very closely linked with Uttara Falguni Nakshatra. Okay. And then there is Uttara Ashada. Okay. So Uttara Falguni and Uttara Ashada, these two Uttaras. <laughs> so Uttara means that the many meanings of the word Uttara, but one of the meanings is. Um, that which is uh, that which appears to be ahead of you that which means something which you need to go and get so it's like a uh, progression you are here then you are here then you are there so therefore this is a very good time for us to be progressive in the areas which Saturn rules in our chart okay and when we are progressive then we will realize that either we lose the battle or we win the battle 
it doesn't matter right so yes it is important to win but as uh, michael used to say uh, operation successful patient dead <laughs> so imagine a doctor who comes and says my dear sir the operation that i was doing has been successful but the only problem is the patient is not alive anymore All right so uttarashada gives us a hint um, in that context and of course that was the situation of arjuna so arjuna was telling that oh what will happen if i kill these people what, what is the use of the kingdom if i don't have these people drona and bhishma especially his most worshipable elders and then krishna said well yes it's difficult but that is your dharma you must do the attachment is there but still you got to fight the war so the most crucial thing for this nakshatra for this transit for saturn is we should stick to our ideals we should stick to our commitments we should stick to the things that we decided last year 2019 and we should not go back and wonder that why did we select right so it was our decision nobody forced us it was we who decided so now we got to be fixed in those ideals and we should make the necessary sacrifices which are required to fulfill that purpose and that could also mean fighting a war like arjuna did and finally attaining the ultimate victory right and even if you lose the war you should understand that i was not destined this was not there in my karma that is why i lost this war but that does not mean that you do not put efforts you try your best as krishna says in the gita karma neva adhikaraste that what you do your actions but don't think of the results okay now not thinking of the results does not mean that you don't care about the results it is just that you are not attached okay so it would happen that you wanted certain things and you achieved and you will also be uh, working in during this whole year to achieve those goals and targets but it could happen that even though you work but at the end you may not achieve sometimes okay so it's okay to fail there there there's no harm in failing but uh, we should not fail to try okay so try your best and leave the rest to god he will decide who who should be successful in which area and of course depending on your karma always that happens okay so do not be discouraged and disheartened if you have to uh if some if certain people would not like your actions it will definitely 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 happen that there are there are some elements in your life who will not like what you do but you must stick to it because that will make your life better individually and uh, it will make you more fulfilled as a person okay so therefore understand your limitations be grounded and know what you should do when you should do and don't just uh, think that i need to fight 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 fighting is good but there should be a purpose behind that fight okay if that fight helps you in your uh, larger purpose in the larger context of life you know, as in case of arjuna it was that now uh, that was not personal of course that was uh, that was the need of the hour because these corvas they had uh, ruined the entire society by their uh, divisive politics and because of their uh, devious actions you know, and they were set to be leaders of the society so when leaders of the society are corrupt then the society is doomed there is no future of the society and that is what is happening in uh, today's kali yuga we see the leaders of the countries you know, whichever country it is you know they they seriously lack character they seriously lack morals they seriously lack values ethics and that is why a uh, situation of kali yuga is degrading every day people's happiness is going down you know, the the defense budget of every country is going up you know, they are spending millions and billions and trillions you know, making nuclear weapons you know, Uh, and so many things which hardly actually matter to the soul to the individual to the atma basically to happiness you know but that is what is happening <clears throat> one country is trying to prove to the other country oh i am more strong you know nuclear i have nuclear power you you don't have if you, even if you have we are more strong 
So that is happening. The, the leaders of the countries, they are they're just fighting like dogs. This is my country. That's your country. You can't come here. I will not go there. Oh. <laughs> yes, so that's the predicament of Kaliuga. So therefore, fight a war if it is required, if it is necessary, not to boast your ego or not to show off that you are always victorious, all right? Because uh, that will not lead you to fulfillment in the long run, okay? So fight the war and be grounded. And even if you win, don't think that you will never lose again. You might lose the next time, <laughs> all right? Because Saturn is the planet which teaches us humility. Yeah, but it is not humility exactly. Humility is represented by Jupiter. People say Saturn is humility. Saturn is not humility. Saturn is humiliation. Should I repeat? Jupiter is humility and Saturn is humiliation. Humiliation means you are forced to be, become humble. You have been defeated. You have been uh, checked totally. Okay. So even if you uh, defeat others, do not humiliate them. Okay. There's a difference between defeating somebody and humiliating somebody. And best is not to defeat anybody. Try to win their hearts because it's very easy to defeat somebody. It's very difficult to win them. Okay. So if you win their hearts, only then you can be happy. You can maintain your relationship with them. Otherwise, you will just go on winning battles and your situation will also be like the great conquerors of this planet who once upon a time ruled this entire world you know, or most of the world. And now they are simply they are in the pages of history good good for no good uh, i mean for no good reason of course no? needless to quote examples from different countries such a waste of time right thank you very much and if you're new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to my website down in the description section of my videos all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much